always raining. Why is it always raining? Driving me crazy. Anyways, I don't know. I've been sick all week, and I'm just trying to get a video out for all of you. And uh, it's a struggle, but we're getting there. Anyways, one, two, three, four. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of Earth, welcome, whoa, welcome to Randon's World with me. There we are, Razor Randon. So glad you could make it. Uh, we're just here, we're working away, trying to figure things out, and uh, it's a bit of a struggle, like I said, but... Um, we have made some progress. Uh, a couple of the problems that we're facing um, are my lack of vision and uh, also just trying to work within this structure. And you know, we always make mistakes and that's part of my world. But um, we're trying to get some things done. And uh, this is what I have so far. And I don't know if I like it. And uh, that's a bit of a problem because it took a lot to do all this and uh, there's a couple issues well first off I don't like that that is there because it peeks out the top so I might have to change that maybe lower it a little bit um, when I get over to this side there's going to be two tanks here well four tanks um, then this is quite a bit lower so um, we have a couple options. It sticks out the top, or we lower it down quite a bit, so um, to just below this level. We might do that. We don't need all this space, I don't think. Um, once the farm is up and going, it should be enough without uh, those deep tanks. So we could, in, in theory, lower this to here, and actually lower that one to the same level and uh, only have a few spawning spaces. Um, I'm not sure what to do and um, we will have to decide how I feel. But this is a big project, as you know, anyone who's done one of these. And um, what I've done is uh, I used a uh, an old uh, Nembomb video talking about mechanics and obviously if you do a portal farm now is better but I don't really want a portal farm so we're doing this type now the guardians uh, spawn in those tanks they flow down the water um, they fall into lava um, two lava blades normally you would make it uh, four sources of lava four levels this is only three because what was happening is that level that's open, the the guardians would uh, pathfind in it and then bounce back up and then go back down and then they would die. We need them to fall right through. So I took out one level and it seems to be working. That changes the um, amount of damage they've taken, which is not good. So they fall down here. They do die at that level, but it's not a one-hit kill if I'm if I have it in a mode where I'm getting XP. So I don't know if I'm going to use this farm for XP, even though uh, guardians are one of the best sources for XP. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I do want to get these tanks up and running so that um, while I'm doing other work around here, uh, we can collect their drops. So I did do a bit down here, and uh, again, I'm not positive if I like it, and uh, this side still has to be uh, worked on, but um, it does work. Uh, one of the problems is the caves underneath, um, so you can see one just died there, another one. Um, I did have... Uh, a shut off or a, not a shut off uh, I have those dispensers at the back that water can go in to see if I could uh, kill them I was going to do something with uh, 
splash potions here to kill them so I wouldn't get the thorn effect. But uh, because of the, the one lava blade missing, it's not working. Um, so, anyways, all this stuff is on hold. Um, I need to figure out... Well, I think I need to put those two last um, tanks in, or four last tanks. And then I need to uh, either light up caves or start digging. And I'm kind of leaning towards digging. And uh, I'll show you why. So I don't want to fall down there. Can I get across? Oof. Under here, uh, I noticed um, a pretty cool find. So it's right there. We have a copper vein here. So if we dig, it's probably not the end of the world. We'll get a ton of copper. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, but let me try to uh, get some of these tanks going. And I'll take you up and uh, show you some of the process. Anyways, we'll be right back. Well, all right. We're here in one of the kill... Well, not kill chambers, but one of the places you don't want to be once we get the lava in and um, you can see kind of how it would work the guardians will drop down into this space there'll be water that pushes them backwards like this and into this other spot where I have a stair just to maybe make it a little bit better and um, the fence gates and um, the fence gates are uh, you can see them there the, the water sticks out just past the fence gates. And this is stuff that you can all uh, see in the Nembomb video where um, it helps the guardians to drop in because guardians will tend to try to bounce. So this helps them to fall. So we have that in all spots like this. They start to sink before they, they try to pathfind. So that's why that decision was made. And um, basically what we need to do here is set up some lava so we don't want the lava on the floor we want it a little bit above and um, we also uh, don't want it to be everywhere we're gonna have these columns that uh, go all the way up in the in the uh, chamber and the idea there again is that when the guardian is beside um, a block it tends to fall quicker so that way they'll um, drop down uh, faster so we have some signs we uh, basically are putting signs around here uh, all the way and this is going to hold the first layer of lava and uh, it's actually going to hold the first two layers but um, this is the pattern I've been doing is it right I don't know does it work I guess so but um, it's been a little bit uh, tricky because I've changed these a couple times, but then if you're not careful, the signs are on it, you wreck the lava inside. Uh, so anyways, it's um, it's been a bit of a, a thing. Now, I don't remember which side I put it on. It doesn't really matter. You're not going to see it. Um, but uh, we'll get this in. And here, I don't have a spot, so I just hang it on this sign. You could use fence gates for this. Um, in his video, he talks about not using fence gates because uh, they'll, they'll burn. But this his video is quite old, so if you use the warp to the crimson wood, you could use fence gates, I'm sure. So anyways, that's the first layer in. Now, this was just a placeholder, and this was just a placeholder. Um, like I said, water is going to go here, which we might as well put in now, so that if we um, fall down, we'll cool off. And you can see here how the the blade uh, sticks out past. Now let's get out of here somewhere. Maybe here. We'll use this as an exit for now. Um, so we need some lava, and I've been collecting it from. Uh, basement of the gold farm 
you remember we have uh, all that lava there. So, let's go grab some. Uh, oops, let's see. You do need quite a bit. Get rid of that. Hopefully that's enough. We'll jump down. Okay. Now, we have to go up a little bit. And um, I want two la layers of lava here. And potentially what I should do is drop it all. I don't really feel like it. I'm going to leave it as is. I think I'm going to use this as a uh, just an item farm, as I was saying. You know, um, there are other options now with um, XP farms. So we're just going to start placing lava. And I've been putting it in every spot. Now, I don't know if you need to, but we have been. And um, you probably could get away with it flowing. Again, I'm not sure, so that's why I've been doing it this way. It kind of uh, tripped me up a little bit when I saw the guardians swimming in the lava. Uh, I didn't think they would do that, but um, let's get a little bit more in. And uh, yeah, basically, you're just going to go around and uh, fill this all in. And like I said, you do need quite a bit. So if you have a lava farm, uh, that's a good plan. And we're not quite going to have enough. Okay. And then these are going to extend all the way up. Now, in, this, in these spots, you can see the black. This one I used glass originally. I might change the top block to black or to glass or maybe even uh, something different. But let's get three more buckets. Fill that one section in. I think that's all we needed. And you can kind of see whoop, how it looks. Right there. There. And uh, you can see there's no flow. Now again, I don't know if, if that's necessary or not, but uh, that's the way we're doing it. And then we're going to put signs in again, all the way around. And uh, we'll put one more layer of lava. Again, I don't, I don't know, this is kind of my brain not working properly. All of this is probably not necessary. I probably should have just dropped them uh, to their death. If I'm not going to make XP uh, an XP farm, then all of this is kind of uh, overkill. Oops. Um, but I guess... Oh, that's not good. Uh, I guess... Uh, Good thing I put the little water in there. Uh, I guess we'll figure it out after. But anyways, that's the plan. And uh, let me get these two in and we'll start to do the top. All right, we'll see you then. As you can see, um, we got that last layer of lava in and um, signs which are going to hold the water up. And uh, I put the shroom lights there and we'll see if I like that or not. Um, I think it looks a little better in the black. Again, you're never going to see it or barely ever. But, uh, you know, whatever. Anyways, um, let's get some of this glass in and... Um, We'll see how high we need to go and how many layers of water that gives us. And again, this is kind of testing. And if it doesn't work out, then we will change things. And, you know, it's a little bit tricky um, the way my brain works. Uh, it feels like, um, you know, I just need to get started. And when I do that, I tend to make mistakes and... Um, if I don't 
get started, then nothing ever gets done. So, um, you know, it is what it is. We're doing our best we can. Uh, I hope you're enjoying what we're doing. And, um, you know, it's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. That's part of how we learn. And um, we are learning. So, uh, you know, we need to remember, I haven't played this game that long. And um, although I've done a lot of these farms, it's not, um, you know, it, it hasn't been... Uh, forever that I've been doing it. Okay, so I think that's as high as we're going to go because we need to get under there. Underwear? Yeah, I just made you say underwear. All right, um, let's grab some logs. Somewhere here I have logs. And um, we're going to make uh, fancy logs, which is very expensive, but, uh, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. And uh, we'll just scaffold up here with some sand. And um, we want these um, to be facing, like they're directional. So you have to be careful which way you place it. Uh, I want the, the pattern to be going up, not sideways. And I think I made a mistake downstairs uh, with that. But we might have to change. Again, it's in the lava, so it will be not easy to do. But um, it's going to drive me nuts if I don't. So anyways, this would be the height of uh, this tank. And it looks so small compared to the other one, I'm just noticing. And maybe we can do the other side where it sticks out. I don't know. Again, they don't have to be enormous. Um, this would be uh, one, it's only three or four layers of water, but oh, that was scary. Um, but again, it, uh, you know, with that many tanks, we should be okay. Let's um, go and see here. Of course, of course, here we go. And uh, I need some of this, more than one. Now, there's so many different little rules and, and things about um, their spawning mechanics that we have to be kind of careful. I mean, it would be nice to put lights up here or something, but um, that affects the, the way they spawn, so you want to have a, a solid non-opaque block up here so you shouldn't really use glass um, part of the reason uh, that Nembaum explained was that uh, figures that um, when they spawn in that top block if um, they tend to, to hang out there and we want them to drop quick so um, by putting that solid block there they can't spawn in that top space um, again you watch his video there's so much okay, can I don't have any more I don't have any more um, there's so many um, little rules that he's figured out or mechanics that he's figured out and so you know it's best to go there and uh, check there Let's just take some of these. Do uh, you have to do nine or can you do four? Four, okay. And um, it is a little confusing when you watch it. And uh, there's stuff with bushes and there's stuff, I don't know, there's tons of things. And we're not doing all of them here because we don't have the space and we kind of want it to look cool as well. And, uh, you know... We will see, but there's things about their pathfinding, different different mechanics. So, um, yeah, to get it all, to soak it all in, go over there, or just build a portal farm and be done with it. Uh, you can do, he has one, and also ENX04 has one. Let's put a light up there just in case. We don't want any creepers falling on our head. Um, now, there's no water in here. So we have to fix that as well. So let's get some water. 
buckets or buckets at least and grab some water and when we have all the different tanks in um, it should be enough that uh, you know it'll constantly be running so let's get in here oh and I need to do our pillars all the way up now those pillars um, the idea behind it is that when they're next to uh, a block they fall twice as quick so that's why we have those in there we might make a bit of a mess here okay let's get some water and um, we'll just start putting water in here now I don't think you have to technically put water in every spot um, I am just to uh, be safe um, you can probably get away with it flowing from uh, a couple different locations but again it's uh, kind of a work in progress here so get the last of this in Oops. and uh, got one there there and we'll see, hopefully this thing works uh, well enough. Again, it's a single player, player world, so, you know, we should be fine. We don't need um, max rates. We just need function. And uh, like I said before, the, the work that needs to be done around here should allow us um, allow us uh, enough kind of AFK time that um, we'll have a lot of drops. That's that's the plan. I think that's enough water. I almost fell right in there again. All right. Up we go. And I think we just need one more right here. And uh, that's all full. So, let's take a step back and see how it looks. It does look quite small. I wonder... Mm -hmm. Did I use all the iron bars? I think I did. Um, so I wonder how it would look with all of them this size. So I think we'll do uh, the neighboring one this size. And then uh, we'll come back and we'll see how, how it looks. And... Uh, yeah, I'll bring you back when I've got this one done. All right, see you in a sec. Well, what a weird episode. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm all over the place talking about nonsense. Man, oh man. Running out of wood. Why did I choose this to build this thing out of? Where's my axe? Oh, what a day. Well, it's coming close to the end here. And, uh... I don't know what I'm doing, and I have a feeling I'm going to change pretty much everything that I've done, and uh, I'm not incredibly happy about that, but I need to get it done right, and uh, I think that's the thing is I'm cutting corners and not really focused, and uh, that's a hard way to play this game, and, uh, you know, I want things to be right, so let's... Uh, Throw a couple more of these, but uh, let's go over and look at what I've done and uh, think about things. 
So, first off, this is what ouch, I was talking about, this sticking out. So the easiest solution is just to drop it one, which isn't that hard to do. So we will do that. Um, we do have guardians uh, spawning, so it's not awful. But if I ever want to make this into a good XP farm with a one hit kill, um, this is not good enough because there's only three lava sources and they need four to drop them to one hit. So I started laying out this one as if it was going to be uh, two levels of lava and giving two spaces which hopefully will be like this where they don't pop back up into the water. And um, I think I'm going to change these ones to all be like this. But I'm not sure and uh, it's going to take time. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm frustrated. But uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. And uh, you know, that's okay. Uh, we'll try to get it fixed up and uh, working for next episode. And uh, the, the, the guardians do spawn in this little itty bitty one. But I think what I might do is uh, push these four out the top. I think it'll look okay uh, if we do that. And let's uh, maybe... Hmm. I don't know. I think we're going to have to do a next episode. But uh, the idea is that over here, um, somewhere, uh, pretty much right here, um, they would start to come out this way. And uh, I guess it would look something like this. And it would come out over here. To wherever it is. And then cross like this. And then down. And, um, and then a little bit of water would be showing. And there'd be one on this side and one on this side. So I think that's the plan. I don't think this will look as bad as what this looks. And so we'll move those down one. So long story short, there's still a lot of work to do here. And uh, I'm disappointed in myself that I didn't get more done. But uh, it is what it is. And uh, I hope you stuck around and liked the episode anyways. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll work on it and see you next time. But uh, for now, thanks for watching.